Hello everybody and welcome to Miss Chelsea's Story Corner. I'm Miss Chelsea and can you guess what we're going to read today? Did you guess it? The smartest giant in town. Are you ready, Lily? She's ready. Once upon a time, there lived a giant. George the Giant. He was the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of shoes, the same old patched up gown. I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town said George. One day, George noticed a new shop <gasps> and there were clothes big enough for him. So he decided to buy one smart shirt, a pair of smart trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with little red diamonds on and a pair of very smart shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town. Look at him, guys. What do you think, Lily? She thinks he's pretty smart looking. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard George saw a giraffe. What's the matter, said George. It's my neck. It's so very cold. I don't know what to do. Do you know what George said? Cheer up, said George. And he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, said George. And it made the most wonderful scarf for the giraffe. <gasps> Thank you, said the giraffe. And George strode towards his home and he sang. So guys, I'm gonna need your help singing at home with me. And we're gonna start. Are you ready, Lily? My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. But look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. Woo-hoo! Can you do it? Woo-hoo! But soon he came to a river. On a boat stood a goat, who was bleating loudly. What's the matter? asked George. It's my boat. Yes, Lily. It's my boat, it's my sail, said the goat. It blew away in a storm. I wish I had a strong new sail for my boat. <gasps> Cheer up, said George. And George took off his new shirt and gave it to the goat. It kept coming untucked anyway. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you, said the goat. And George strode off. Yes, that's right, he strode off. Are you ready to do the song? My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. Woo-hoo! What a great song. But then, as he was walking, he heard a <coughs> He looked down and there were some mice. said George, and you know what he did? He took off his big shoes and gave it to the little mice. Thank you so much, squeaked the mice. It made the most wonderful home. And off George hopped on the way home, but he sang his song. My tie is a scarf for a 
cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a hat for a little white mouse. But look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. Woo-hoo! Can you do it? Woo-hoo! Then, George came to a campsite and beside a tent stood a fox who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. <laughs> it's my sleeping bag. I, I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. I don't know what I'm going to do. So George said, cheer up. And George took off his sock and it made the most snuggly little sleeping bag for the fox. It was tickling my feet and away, said George. Thank you, said the fox. And George hopped away, singing to himself. Can you do it? My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. Woo-hoo! Can you do it? Woo-hoo! Next, he came to a big, squelchy bog. Squelch, squelch, can you do it? Squelch, squelch. Besides the bog stood a dog lily like you. What's the matter, asked George to the dog. It's the bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I keep getting stuck in the mud. I just wish I, there was a dry path. George said, cheer up. And he took off his smart new belt and it made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow a little bit. But George didn't mind. He hopped on singing to himself. Are you ready? My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. But... in town. Can you do it? <laughs> the coldest giant in town. Suddenly George felt sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought I'll have to go back and get all my clothes. So he decided to turn around and hopped all the way back. But when he got there it was closed. Out the corner of his eye, he saw his old clothes. <gasps> my gown, he yelled, my dear old gown and sandals. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the coziest giant in town, he cried, and he danced back home all along the road. But when he got home, outside his front door, <gasps> All the animals he had helped were there carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, they said, open it, open it. <gasps> George opened it, he put the crown on his head, and they all sang the song. Your tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. Your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. You about to help the dog who was crossing a bog. But, so here is a crown for the kindest giant in town. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know our Lily did. This is Miss Chelsea's Story Corner. I'm Miss Chelsea and I'll see you all later.